OK, well, I've beaten a Class D player. We'll see you whatever. Can I beat a Class B? Oh, at last we've got someone interesting, a Korean player, Class B. Same class as me. Korean players tend to play rather a dull game, rather a grindy game. Grind it out. They grind out the moves. Looking for the slim percentages always. Never looking for the flamboyant, flashy win. It can be challenging, just that alone, that mindset alone can be challenging to my Western mind. <laughs> Inside Castle Inn. Uh, it can be. They're like machines. Kinside Castle Inn. These Korean players. But the the mechanical kind of style that they play with does enable me to show off my more flashy style. So, you know, it has that going for it. It becomes a rather nice canvas. Well, that is an interesting development. I think what we shall do is we shall first go for that. I wasn't expecting him to do anything quite like that, I must must say. Most unexpected, Mr. Bond. Normally, I'm expecting you. He's got to go middle. Right. Well, no matter what, the next thing to do is to chase away his, uh, his other knight. And he has a limited number of squares to go to. He's all the way over to the A file by this next move. I think Well, let's get this out of the way so that my queen my, my rook Ah, I see. oh, ah, right. Yes, okay. But where does he think his knight is going to go? If I do that. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's... Oh, right. I, ah, I see. I see. Yes, yes, well, you would go there, wouldn't you? Well... I suppose what I really need to do... I need to doubly defend that knight, but it is doubly defended. All right, all right, all right, all right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> My black bishop's on the wrong square now because that, that rook exchange never happened that I was kind of expecting. I'd like to try and get him to advance his f-pawn. I don't know quite how to make him do that. Ah! Yes, uh, there might be a way. All right, well that, you're basically just giving your knight fewer and fewer squares there to be on. And after this...
Mm, well, this is this is a bit crazy. It's all going a bit crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll bring it over here. I'd rather threaten the bishop than actually outright take it. And I, and I like the fact that this defends my king and potentially gives me some checking possibilities if, if I can get my rook onto that file as well. Some really nifty checking possibilities where he can't capture the knight with the pawn because the rook will be pinning that pawn to the king. And people often don't see those ones. So I think we'll give that a I'm not going to worry my pretty head about that. In fact, if anything, I'm going to worry his pretty head about that. But I think I can take that pawn now. And he can't really recapture unless he decides to stick his queen there. He doesn't want to stick his queen there, though. I know he doesn't. Oh, okay. Okay, we we'll we have to blockade it with the bishop. There's no other option. My knight is still protected just by the queen though. Yeah, we have to have to use the bishop. I've got to set up this attack on his king though, that's very important. I'm not gonna worry about those little pawn moves he's doing up there. Most of the time when your opponent moves a pawn like that's because they want you to take it. Oh, I'd love to move that pawn forward and reveal a lovely check on his queen there now. Let's get on with this for now. I think he's very, very buggered. Check. This is looking good. This is looking good. Check. We've got a windmill. However, it's a windmill with almost no material to take. Ah. Yes, we've got one there. Check.
Now, I should have gone for the night, really. But then again, I, it's not really a win because, because of McQueen. Oh, that's Checkmate. Checkmate. There we go. The windmill that was not.